Hi again everybody, I've been saying I'm going to do a video tour of the studio ever since we got here. So, this is the driveway. Exciting stuff. This is the front of the cottage we've been working in. As you can see, we are right on the water. I'll take you back there in a second. But first I'm going to head in. To the kitchen where Glenn is making himself a cup of tea. No, a cup That's of just water. A cup of water. Okay, well, water is one of the main ingredients in tea. In fact, one of only two. Water and tea. Yeah, after which you have a cup of tea. Um, this is the kitchen, which uh, Glenn nicely cleaned up today, but this is where we've been cooking our meals. Craig's made us a couple of pasta sauces. We've had some wonderful soups, and what else have we eaten in here? A lot of uh, grilled, cheese, grilled cheese sandwiches. A lot of grilled cheese sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Too many, some might say. Yeah. yeah. There's an argument to be made there. Okay, all right. Continuing onwards, here's the kitchen, complete with awesome red and white checkered tablecloth, which I think is sort of a staple of every cottage I've ever been in. Um, this is where all the heat for the cottage comes from, this rip-roaring fire here, uh, which we've been dragging wood in from outside and indulging our pyromaniac selves and building the biggest fires we possibly can. Upstairs to the bedrooms. I'm not going to take you up there because we didn't clean them. This is the main, uh, the main kind of recording space that we've been using. So we got all of our instruments all lined up in a row here. You can see there are quite a few guitars available. We've had uh, guitars loaned to us by uh, Glenn's friend Graham Greer, who's the, uh, the lead singer of Gre Glenn's band, the, uh, the Barstool Prophets, and he's got a lot of beautiful guitars, including this one, his Guild. We also had some, uh, some guitars loaned to us by the, uh, the Indie Guitar Company. This is one of them here, this wonderful Gretsch copy, hollow body guitar, and a really pretty Telecaster copy with a Bigsby uh, vibrato unit on it, which I'm probably going to wind up buying because it's so pretty. So I'll probably play that a little bit on the record. We haven't gotten into any of the guitars or anything yet. This is the office, as you can see. Also, the couch from which we can watch pretty much every one of the uh, NHL playoff games when we need a break. Because although we are up here in the wilderness, we are not without creature comforts entirely. We do have satellite television. <laughs> this here is, uh, although it just looks like a, a child's fort with a no girl allowed sign somewhere, uh, is actually our our vocal booth, which Glenn built in about five minutes out of a couch on end, complete with a vomit stain from one of his friends when, uh, when he was in high school, which I think is important. It really adds to the ambience and the odor when you're recording vocals. And uh, you can't really see it because it's dark, but that's where the, uh, the vocal mic position is. That's that wonderful Telefunken U47. Oh, no, no, it's not. That's the road mic that Trevor's been singing into, which is also a wonderful mic. And continuing through to the final place, which is Glenn's bedroom, which is, of course, clean because Glenn is fastidious. No, I'm not. I'm fastidious. <laughs> and this is where we've set up the actual studio. So this is where we do all the monitoring from, where we uh, sit and obsess over little tiny chunks of wave files and all the fun stuff that goes along with recording a record. You can see all the preamps and EQs and plugins and stuff we've been using. I'm giving away your secrets, Glenn. I'm sorry. And finally, I'll take you back through and show you if I can figure out how doors work. No, nope, apparently I can't. The outside world. Where we've got our barbecue. It doesn't have propane, so we haven't been able to use it. And the beautiful lake complete with Resplendent with loons, I think is the way I would describe it. And they sing every night at dusk, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's been a little chilly, so we haven't spent a whole lot of time sitting out here, but I'll probably head out in the canoe later on today. That's it. That's, our studio. That's where the magic is happening, and uh, this is where uh, the, the few people who have indulged themselves in the Be On Enter the Haggis' album fundraiser package will be coming up to uh, spend a couple of days with us and recording parts for the record. But that's enough time wasting. We got to get back to work. Thanks everybody.